Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, where I'm trying something new and going through the entire World Puzzle Federation pack from 2015 Round 3, which were the puzzles set by India. Now, um, I tried to pick a puzzle to do for this like I had with previously for the 2014 packs and the first two 2015 packs, and I couldn't pick one to do. They all looked so interesting. So I decided I'm going to try and do this as a series and see what you all think. Please leave in um, comments below about whether you think this is a good idea. Now, there were puzzles totaling, I think there were 16 puzzles totaling 600 points in the pack. This is a classic Sudoku worth 20 points. So we expect this one to be an easy one because these were originally set as a competition puzzles where people would have to solve the puzzles and submit complete their solutions in order to earn points and the most points would win. Now, I'm not going to try and solve these as a competition. I, I don't enjoy competitive solving, but what I do want to do is use these puzzles as a way of just showcasing the puzzles that were out. These are now 10 years old. Um, and to try and help you maybe learn something if you um, struggle with classic Sudoku that are a little bit easier in this case. But as we move through, we will see harder puzzles as well as a lot of variants, um, including ones I've never seen before. So let's have a look at the rules of classic Sudoku 2. So it's classic Sudoku. So into every row, into every column, and into every three by three box, we have to place the digits one to nine without repeats. Now, as I said, this was a 20 point puzzle and this one was set by Rajesh Kumar. So thank you, Rajesh, for the puzzle. Now below, I will provide a link to the um, World Puzzle Federation website where you can download all of the packs that they've released, um, as well as a link to this puzzle so you can attempt it yourself. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this one a shot. So I can see straight away that we've got four ones looking into box one where we still need to place a one. So I can't put one into any of these cells and I can't put one into either of those two cells. So this has to be the one. Uh, can I continue with ones? I can't put ones into any of those. Ah, I've got something happening with ones here. This one means I can't put one into any of those cells and these cells already contain digits. And if you saw my last video, you'll understand why I'm pencil marking one into those two cells. Um, this is corner marking when there is a digit that can only be placed in two cells into a region or a three by three box. Now, this means that one can't go anywhere else in this column or I couldn't put one in box eight. So one now can't go here or here or here. So because we're restricting it to two cells in box five, I can pencil mark one here. But I can do better looking differently. I can see that one can't go here or here or here because of pointing ones into box nine. So one is in one of those two cells, which means this isn't the one, this is the one. Okay, that's where I seem to run out with ones. Now, I can see seven is in one of those two using the same logic. I'm trying to see one, two, yeah, one, two, five, seven, all, all looking into um, box two isn't really helping us because the one, two, five, seven are already placed outside this row. And three, eight, four, one, hmm, maybe. But this is now down to a triple. And when I get down to a triple, I like to immediately put it in because that will often po point me in the direction of something I've missed because I haven't placed five, six, or seven in here. Now I can see this can't be a five. This one can't be a seven. That's not helped me as much as I might like, but I can see that there is another digit I haven't placed in this row. So I've placed one, three, four, eight and nine, I need to put a two in this row. And the only, I can't put it here, so this must be the two. And therefore, this must also be a five, six, or seven, and it can't be a six. So this is only a five or a seven, and that's got down to, that down to only two digits. Now I can see there are sevens pointing down, eliminating sevens from all of those, so I can put corner mark sevens. The difference between corner marks and center marks, by the way, is a corner mark is telling me um, in a classic Sudoku at least, that I've got this digit down to only two possible cells in that um, region, or in this case, three by three box. A center mark means that those are the only digits that are possible to be placed into that cell. So in this cell, for example, I can't put one, two, I can't put three, I can't put four, I can put five, I can't put six, 
I can put seven, I can't put eight or nine. So only five or seven could go in here. So if I can get a five or a seven that um, or find some reason to eliminate a five or a seven from that cell, it would mean the other one has to be in there. So this is down to a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is down to eight or nine in the row. And this eight is telling me that this is the nine and this is the eight. And this has got me down to a triple in this column. I always like it when I get a triple because a triple is something like I had here. I like to put in and see if I'm missing anything obvious. So it may not be the most efficient way to solve, but it's the way I've found that works for me. Because um, you have to find a way that solves for you. Speed solvers will probably do it differently. So these digits are three, six, and nine. Now I can see I can't put six here because I've already got a six in the box. Um, and there's no six here either. So there's these, neither of these can be a six. So that's a six. Now six has to go in one of those, but I'm not seeing how to do that. But these are down to three and nine. Yeah, I'm not sure. But this is a triple. And this actually is going to be quite powerful, I think, because this is one, four, and six. Right. Yes, one, four, and six. Now the one and the six is looking down saying that can't be the one or the six. So that's the four. This is now a one or a six. The six makes this the one and this the six. But that means this isn't the six. Now I've got another triple in this column, which is two, three, and seven. There's a two here. So, this, oh, so that can't be a two. I also could have used the two in the box. And there's no three here. Okay, not where I was supposed to be looking. What I think I should have been looking for is sixes in box one, because I can see this six eliminates six from those two cells, and that six eliminates six from there. So the only place for a six is here. And now the only place I can place six in box two, because those ones can't contain it, or neither can that, is here. So this is down to a triple, and I'm actually going to use it. So three, eight, and nine. There's no eight there. There's no nine there. Not sure about that one, but that means nine is in one of those two. Not sure how to use that. What about this triple? Three, four, and nine. Well, there's no four there. So this is three, seven, or nine, because it's all that's missing in the row, and it's not three. So that's seven or nine, and I seem to be getting nowhere with that. This is also three, eight, or nine for this row, and that doesn't seem to be helping me either. But five and five is putting five into one of those two, and it's been there since the beginning. I've had four fives looking into box three, making this a five. So this is three, seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, three, eight, or nine, and that doesn't seem to be giving me much. Ah, this three is looking up, making that the eight. So there's no eight here. This is a three, nine pair. That's what mattered. I just missed the three looking up, and the three, nine pair makes that the eight. Now that means I'm only missing two digits in this column, and they must go into these cells. And they are three and nine. So I can't put a three here because then these would both have to be nine. The three makes this the nine and the three. There's no three here. These are two and seven, but that means that these are the two digits that haven't been placed because I can't use two or seven because they must go into those two cells. So these are one and eight. And the one here makes this the eight and this the one. Now these are the seven and nine that hasn't been placed, that or the two seven is looking up, meaning that can't be the seven. That's the three. Now, it's a three in the corner. Um, and these now must be a seven nine pair, and the seven here means that's the nine and that's the seven. The nine looks across taking nine out of both of those. This is a three four pair, so this is the only place for the nine. This three is looking up, making that the nine and that the three and I'm getting a lot of eliminations happening quite quickly. But this was only a 20 point puzzle. Okay. The triple in column five, this seems to be, um, as I said, what I often look for is um, columns, rows or boxes where I have lots of digits. 
And if I've got six digits in particular, that is always of interest to me, seven or eight even more so. So I haven't placed two, five, and seven. So these must be from two, five, seven, but I can see that five and seven can't go here either. So that's the two, and this becomes a five, seven pair. Um, okay. So, it's not jumping out at me where to look next. This row is quite full, but not as full as the others. So, I'm missing one, two, five, and seven. So, this could be. So, often what I find is good for me. Okay, so where's one in this row is the question. I can't put one here. There's already one in the box. I can't put one here and I can't put one here. So this is the one. This is not the one. I could have used the one looking over. That would have been the way to do it. And these are now two, five, and seven, which is what's missing in the row. But there's a two and a five already in column four. So that becomes the seven. There's no seven here. But more importantly, the seven makes that the five, that the seven. The seven here means this can't be a seven anymore. So it's the six. The six means this can't be a six. So it's a five. The five looks across making that the seven. And this is now a triple, which is three, five, and nine. The nine is not here. And okay. But this seven looks across making this the two and this the seven. The two looks back making this the five, taking five out of here. This is now a three nine pair. The other way of asking is where is five in this box? Those two fives mean I can't put five in either of those. That's the five. Okay. I'm curious about these columns now because they're down to only two digits I haven't placed. In this one, it's four and six, and I can't put a six there. So that's the four, that's the six. In this column, it seems to be eight and nine, and I can't put eight there. So that's eight and that's nine. The nine now looks across to the pencil marks I placed earlier, making this the three and this the nine, which makes this the three, which looks up making that the four and that the three. This is a triple I haven't placed. Now, there are multiple ways of doing it. I find it easier to scan boxes than rows. So often what I will do is I will put the triple into the box, two, four, and nine, and then I'll see that the two can't go into any of those. So that becomes the two. And then I can see the nine is looking down, making that the four, and that will make that the nine. I just find that's easier for me to scan. It's slightly slower, but I find it easier for me to visualize. That becomes the nine, and that is the correct solution to the puzzle. And that is classic Sudoku 2, another 20-point puzzle. So I've now done 40 of the 600 points. There's a lot of more tricky ones to come. Um, as I said, the packs normally start with the easier puzzles and then ramp up. But the puzzles in the pack are designed to not get too tricky. So hopefully this will be a series that's good for new Sudoku solvers, as well as for people who are more experienced to have a bit of fun. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy the series. As I said, please leave comments below as, as to whether you think this is a good idea or not. And as always, good luck with your solving.